I just came back from getting my hair done at a hair salon and I wanted to tell you about the encounter I had with the person there. This was the woman that was doing my hair. Her name was Letty and she is from Mexico and she's been in the United States for 22 years and she speaks English I think very well but she was uncertain of her communication skills in English. And so she told me that she wasn't um, very comfortable, that she didn't know if people could understand her. And I assured her I could. I understood everything that she said. And I asked her also at another point if she could understand me, and she said that she could. But here's the thing. I spent a total of two hours with her because I got my hair cut and also lightened, hi highlighted. And so it took a, a while being with her. And I wasn't going to just let that time go and not have some kind of a connection with this person if I could help it. And so um, she was at first very, very quiet. She didn't want to talk to me very much. And you know how hairdressers usually ask questions about your life. And she wasn't asking me anything. So I asked her about some things that I thought we could connect on. I asked if she had kids. Turns out she does have children and I have children too. And so we connected on the fact that we're both mothers and we were talking about how our kids grow so fast. And then we both have dogs. And so we connected on that. Every time you're with a person, you have an opportunity to engage in human interaction. I posted something on Facebook yesterday about how I was interacting with a Muslim woman at a store, and I told her that I was really sorry to hear about the shootings in the mosques in New Zealand. And a lot of people on Facebook said, that's so amazing, that's so incredible that you did that. And I just, that's the, thank you, you know, that's nice. It's a, it's a nice compliment to hear that, but that is literally the opposite of, of what I'm trying to convey. What I want to convey, which is the truth, is that it's not amazing. It's actually no big deal. It's no big deal to talk to somebody in line at a grocery store. It's no big deal to talk to somebody that's cutting your hair. It's no big deal to talk to anybody. The only difficult person I've ever found to talk to is the dentist because I can't say anything with dental tools in my mouth. Um, but other than that, we have a chance everywhere we go just to be a, a nice human, you know, just to be a nice human being, to find points of connection. Now, often we feel like we don't know what to say. Just say what you'd say to anybody that you're casually talking to, you know, hi, my name's Stephanie. How long have you worked here or something? If you appear foolish, that's the worst that can happen to you, that you might appear a little, you know, over-friendly. <laughs> uh, but so many wonderful things can happen if you do this. You reach out. You show that you're a good neighbor, that you reach across your own demographic circle into the lives of other people. And also by doing this, you break down stereotypes in your own mind. Every time I talk to a Muslim, a Hindu, a Buddhist, somebody that's of another religion than me, another skin color than me, another sexual orientation than me, I connect human to human. I connect heart to heart and soul to soul. I don't connect label to label. I don't solidify labels in my mind of what those people must be like. Today, I connected with a mother. She was a mom. Sure, she spoke another language. In fact, I told her I thought it was really neat that she raised her kids knowing two languages. I wish my kids knew two languages. Just connect with people. The world needs more of that. That's actually a way to work for peace. Please don't think it's a big deal. One time I was talking to my personal pastor. His name is Paul. He's been my pastor since I was 15 years old. And I told him, you know, I really wish people didn't put pastors on pedestals because that's a long way to fall. He also said, yes, but that's also a long way to climb, meaning folks often look at pastors and think, oh, what you're doing is so amazing. I could never do that. I'll just let you do that for me. We're just people. We've got a certain vocational call. We have a certain role in society. But what pastors are trying to do is call people, all people, into these simple actions, these simple acts of love that any of us can do. Please don't think any of this is any big deal. It's normal to talk to your neighbors. It's normal to get to know people. Just reach across the things that seem to divide and show that you're kind. Kindness goes a long way. Have a great day. Bye.